Welcome to the Chromatech Test Lab. You're here because you're the best of the best. Not because you were in need of 10 bucks and nobody else signed up. I mean, who would have given you that idea? Before we start, we need to test your general mobility. For most of us, primary colours are a distant memory of a primary school lesson. And it's this distant knowledge that first person puzzle game Chroma Gun challenges. Developers Pixel Maniac's approach to challenging a knowledge that every player possesses has allowed them to create some genuinely tricky puzzles that we all know the answer to. Chroma Gun plays out in a series of rather sterile looking test chambers where you have been given the task of testing out Chromatech's new multicolored gun, which is obviously called Chroma Gun. There's no real story to Chroma Gun, no reason why you're testing the prototype weapon or even what its actual purpose is. The only dialogue in the game is shared for a sarcastic Chromatech employee and although he only talks to you on the odd occasion, when he does it's genuinely pretty funny and brings some humour to the rather official looking test chambers. Chroma Gun offers 8 progressively challenging test chambers to play through, each of which bring a new puzzle mechanic to learn. These can range from hostile robots to electrified flooring. It's the manipulating of various robots that provide the real challenge and couple that with various environmental hazards that you'll face and you're provided with a real thought-provoking scenarios to solve. As previously mentioned, most of the knowledge needed to complete Chroma Gun is already there. When presented with a new colour like orange, a colour your gun doesn't provide, it's obvious you need to mix yellow and red. This trust in the player's knowledge continues throughout the roughly 4 hour campaign, with you very rarely being provided with any tutorial to the new mechanics an approach that only adds to the creative thinking Chroma Gun urges you to play with. Unfortunately, once you've finished your playthrough, there's very little reason to return to Chroma Tech's test chambers. I was very surprised to not see any leaderboards. The game oozes elements of speedrunning, and although leaderboards aren't for everyone, they provide hours of more gameplay for anyone who strives to top them. The simplicity of Chroma Gun's gameplay is where its colours really come through. Although the puzzles end up getting pretty challenging, you never feel like you don't know the solution. The progressively challenging chambers keep you engaged throughout the game's main campaign, but there's very little to return to Chroma Gun once you painted your way through its sterile corridors.